Richard Donnelly is my name, the Salmon and Shellfish Manager in BIM. So I'm responsible for the Salmon Aquaculture business and the Shellfish Aquaculture business, which is predominantly uh, oysters and mussels. So I'm just going to try and give you a quick overview of the activities in the aquaculture and to briefly on the fishery side as well. So the first slide, this is from our Business of Seafood publication, which you can download on BIM.ie. And it gives you a full breakdown of the whole fisheries and the aquaculture industry. You can see from the slide that the industry is worth one billion uh, in total. So it's very important in where it's located. There's 16,000 people employed, but the vast majority of operations are conducted down the Western seaboard. In fact, 74% of aquaculture is carried out along the Western seaboard and our two biggest ports. Killy Beggs and Castletown Bear are both based on the West Coast. So rather than going in all to the details there, just to give you a quick snapshot, the overall export value is about 600 million last year. It held up fairly well, uh, just down 8% due to the, obviously the COVID-19 situation. And the number one species uh, that we'd export would be salmon. And that's uh, export value of around 110 million, okay? So you can see uh, the different species here and the countries that we export to. Obviously, the EU is our main market, and that goes for all species, mussels, oysters, salmon, uh, right through to all our whitefish. And it's our pelagic stock that is mainly sold to Africa, Asia, Middle East. Um, but we are developing a lot of activity in Asia, and this has been particularly successful for our oyster industry, which has done very well out there in recent years. Just to give you an overview of that aquaculture sector that we talked about, you can see that salmon predominates here. It's uh, really important. It's based all the way from Donegal right down to Cork. Uh, so right down the Western seaboard is where the activities um, are taking place. And the oyster industry has gone through phenomenal growth in the last 10 years. It's come from a very small base to where we now have a branded product being exported um, all around the world and particularly developing in Asia, but the main market is still France. I just want to briefly talk about some initiatives that we're trying to do. Awareness of aquaculture has always been a challenge. There's been a lot of misconceptions about aquaculture uh, in Ireland and worldwide. And one of the programmes we've jointly come together with our tourism board, uh, Fault Ireland, to actually highlight the aquaculture producers and actually develop them into a tourist activity. Because we have oyster growers, we have mussel growers, we have smoked salmon producers all along the wild Atlantic way. And we came up with this trail called the Tasty Atlantic. And here it is, 21 producers dotted all down the wild Atlantic way. And you can actually get a tourist experience at each of these locations. So you can actually visit an oyster farm, maybe go down to a mussel farm, taste the mussels. And it's really grown in significance in the last few years and has become a vital uh, part of our communication on aquaculture, but also as tourist activities uh, for these companies, these 21 companies. So it's been ex extremely successful and a great partnership. We've had a lot of help from Falch Ireland in this respect. There's just some of the material with information material uh, with Crow Patrick Seafoods. You can go there for tours and then we have information signs in various locations down at the uh, Western Seaboard. The second part of the education program, and we have found this really, really beneficial. It's come from a program called Farmed in the EU, uh, which is about educating school children about aquaculture. And we have a remote aquaculture called the aquaculture remote classroom and here's the truck that will drive around to schools obviously this is pre-pandemic when this is taken out but we've had inundated with school requests the girls there would spend a whole day covering parts of the curriculum from seafood diet uh, dietary aspects geography history and all related back to aquaculture and it's been really successful we've introduced virtual reality headsets so they can actually experience what it's like to actually be in a salmon farm or to swim through muscle lines and again it brings them away from the mystery and education service in that way and there they are inside the actual truck so there's uh, Anya teaching about uh, the dietary aspects of seafood the next 
program that we're running is about tapping into, and there's Kate, as you can see, working hard at the Aquaculture Accelerator program. And what this is, is we're trying to tap into industries that are not directly related in the production of seafood, but in the uh, equivalent to the aquatech side in agri agriculture. So there's a huge growth in aquaculture. It's the fastest growing protein sector in the world. And we've got a huge skill by base, whether it's in IT, pharmaceuticals, or just in various technologies that can be applied to the aquaculture world. And we have been rolling this two week program out every year uh, for the last four years. And we're trying to get startup companies into this program. It's we're in partnership with Hatch, who are a private investment company that invest in early stage aquaculture companies. And it's been really successful. And we'll be running another program this October uh, in the RDI hub uh, in Kilorgan in Kerry. And we've already opened for applications in relation to that. We're also working with Board Namona. This is a overview of a site in the Midlands um, in a place called Mount Lucas, where we've been growing trout and perch uh, in the bog lands where they're no longer been used for harvesting of peat. And you can see, here's an overview of the farm. You can see four ponds at the top and then a fit natural filtration system, which the green material there is actually proved very successful. That's called duckweed. And duckweed has a 40% protein content. And we've actually, through this trial, realized that not only the trout and the perch, but the duckweed have actually become really vital uh, industries. And there's a real potential to develop protein from this duckweed. And uh, we're doing a further research on that. What we want in that site also is to try and develop our own aquaculture innovation hub. So you can get people studying duckweed, the uh, perch farming, the trout farming, and open it up to creating a hub where we can take our pro uh, companies that with the Aquaculture Accelerator program can actually locate. So this is trying to mimic the Silicon Valley for aquaculture, but based in the Midlands in Mount Lucas. And these are all the type of things that we could develop in that site. And it's it really is moving fast. Um, we're getting a lot of interest and a lot of companies wanting to locate there. Still at very early stage, but we have our trout farm there. We have the perch farm and we've been doing that work on the duckweed. Um, there's some work also on aquaponics there and various other activities. So it's a really exciting um, development and uh, it's something that we think that will really grow. So in summary, just want to say that, you know, the fisheries and aquaculture in Ireland is a fantastic resource that we have. We're looking at it from all the different angles, from education to production to auxiliary industries. And we really think it is a, an extremely bright future, but we have to look globally and take our talents around the world to really capitalise on the opportunity that we have here. So thank you very much for that. So 